World is open source, let's make it simple. www.learnitguide.net presence. A YouTube technical channel, Learn IT Guide tutorials. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Hello friends. In this video, I am going to explain you about AutoFS. Topics involved in this session are what is AutoFS, what is the difference between FS tab and AutoFS and how to configure AutoFS in Linux. Links related to this session are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better from basics. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more about something else, please leave your comments and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. And you are watching LanATGuide.net tutorials. We provide you 100% free documents and tutorial videos to build your skills. For more updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites and subscribe our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube, search for Learn IT Guide. Hit subscribe button to not miss any updates and hit bell icon to get notification. So what is AutoFS? AutoFS referred as Auto Mount. It's a nice feature we have in Linux when a client attempts to access a file system that is not presently mounted. So AutoFS helps us to auto mount the file system on demand and it's a client end service. Again, not only it will mount the file system automatically, but it can automatically unmount the file system when not in use for a particular predefined timeout value. Why do we use AutoFS when we have FS tab. So what is the difference of FS tab and AutoFS? If you mount the file system using FS tab, file system will be mounted automatically even after the reboot, which means the file system will be mounted permanently even after the reboot. It doesn't matter we use the file system or not. So we use FS tab to mount the file systems permanently. But FS tab will be useful only if you have a less mount points. Think of it, if you have so many mount points and it's mounted all the time on your all infrastructures which will cause the system to perform very slow. If you mount the same file system using AutoFS, file system will be mounted when someone is accessing it and automatically unmount when not in use after the predefined timeout value. It's mount the file system only when needed and it's automatically unmount the file system when not in use. Best example for AutoFS is, assume that you have a centralized server where you have all the softwares and documents available and it's not required to mount those file systems in all your infrastructure servers. So wherever you require the packages to be installed or wherever you require the documents to be available, you have to mount that file system only on the particular server. And even if you configure the same in the AutoFS, when you try to access the file system, automatically it will get mounted. Another example is mounting the home directory shares over NFS for individual servers when they log into the server. It's not required to mount the home directory who is not logging to the server. Assume that you have a centralized LDAP server with home directory. For login, you will be integrating your clients with LDAP, but to access the home directory, you will be exporting your home directory over the NFS. And if you mount that NFS volume using FS tab, what will happen? Users which are inside the home directory will also be mounted. Let's see an example to understand it much better. This is my lab setup and scenario. I have a server, its host name is server and sharing the folder slash documents and slash softwares over NFS to my client server. Here, I'm not going to discuss about NFS configuration part you can refer the links mentioned in the description to know how to configure the NFS servers. As I told you before, AutoFS is a client end service, so we need to do the configuration at the client end. There is no configuration required at the server end, apart from NFS configuration. Steps involved. Let's verify and install the AutoFS packages and we'll find the NFS share names which are to be mounted at the client end and we'll edit the AutoFS main configuration file and we'll create a map file and we'll start the AutoFS service and finally we'll verify the configuration is working or not. This is my client server. Let's check whether the AutoFS package is installed or not. 
the package name of autofs is autofs only it's not been installed let me install it the autofs package is installed now next step is to edit the configuration file main configuration file for autofs is slash etc slash auto dot master and we have to edit this configuration file to specify the mount point and location of the map files each entry in this auto dot master file has three fields the first two fields are mandatory and the third field is optional the first field is the mount point where we need to define the directory on which our file system will be get mounted the second field is the location of the map file where we need to specify the information about the nfs server here if you see these lines only we have a two field one is mount point and the other one is map file location so these are the two mandatory two fields and again you have a third field that is optional where you can define the timeout value and other options if the file system is inactive for a particular time period then file system will be get unmounted these kind of options we can define in the third field before editing this file i should know the nfs share volume let me exit from this and find out the nfs volume names here i have a two exported volumes that is slash document and slash software i am going to mount these file system using autofs again open the main autofs configuration file here just make an entry newly let me mount those directory under slash mnt and i am going to create a map file for this demo test dot share i am going to create a map file called test dot share in which i am going to give all the information about my nfs server just save and exit from this file and if you wanted to set a timeout here at the end hyphen hyphen timeout equal to 30 so after 30 seconds if the file system is not been in use then automatically autofs will be unmount this file system let me give here 120 just save and exit let's create the map file called test dot share because we have mentioned that file as a map file in the auto dot master so here you have a two options either you create that file newly or if you wanted to have a reference then there is a file called auto dot misc here you have a existing file you can just copy this auto dot misc to test dot share and just make the changes here if you see the syntax should be something like this name of the share file system type and end of a share path where name of the share is an nfs share volume name which one you wanted to get mounted in the directory so this is the directory it should be presented in your client machine so what will happen this pub linux from ftp.example.org will be get mounted in a directory called linux and this is fs type file system type and this is nfs share so let's create the map file vi etc test dot share here you need to give the mount point directory name i just give softos hyphen fs type equal to auto let me give auto then the nfs server path same way i am going to define that document folder as well
that's all so just save and exit from here so let me explain you one more time so this is your nfs share volume this will be going to get mounted in a directory called softos under the directory slash data or slash mnt how did you define in the auto dot master according to that the path will be taken so i have changed that slash mnt to slash data to not get confused so now this software from the server will be get mounted in a directory called slash data slash softwares just exit from here save and exit so already i have created the mount point directory so nfo share path will get mounted on this directory so let me confirm the configuration once again so this is my map file looks like initially i was putting a slash before that mount point directory name i just removed that so softwares and documents file system type is auto and this is my nfo share path as well as i have to create the directory called softwares and documents under slash data because i have made the entry in the auto dot master as the data would, the file system would be mounted on slash data let me try to mount that slash data softwares yes i could see the content of my softwares recover dot exe utility dot exe because i have not done anything i have not it mounted the file system manually or i have not at made an entry in the fs tab file i was just accessing that file system using the cd command and i am just accessing that path what will happen auto fs will according to this file this nfs share path will be mounted on this directory softwares and i have this is a directory i have created already inside the slash data it has been mounted and if you do df hyphen h you could see that data software has been already mounted but still the document is not at mounted because i have not at accessed i have not at tried to access the document folder now i am going to access it let me try to list the directory under document in this format i have not at used the cd i just used ls now if you do df hyphen h i could see softwares as well as documents which means when the user is trying to access the file system using that path then according to that map file automatically auto fs will mount that share volumes i don't need to unmount it till i use it will allow me to use that file system if i'm not using this file system more than 120 seconds because i have set the time field over here as 120 what will happen so if i'm not using that file system slash data and what are the volumes are defined inside this this dot share for 120 seconds then automatically all the file systems belongs to this map file will be get unmounted that's all about the auto fs configuration to automate the file system at the client end how did you feel is the video helpful appreciate our efforts in the comment section below hit like button share with your friends about us subscribe our channel to get further updates stay connected with us on social networking sites for more free tutorials visit our website www.learnitguide.net